today i have a very special topic by the name of latta of planets now latta of planet is primarily used in mahurta latta means a kick and primarily in mahurta it is used but if moon moon is the major factor in mahurta so if moon in mahurta is kicked by a planet it is considered as a bad mahurta one thing if the latta is by a malefic planet it is very bad but because latta is kick and kick is you see kick is bad kick is disgraceful it's not like drishti it's not like aspect which can be both good and bad latta or the kick is bad only so moon gets latta in a muhurta chant it makes the muhurta unfavorable unsuitable if the muhurta is by if the latta is by malefic planet sun mars rahu saturn then it is very problematic however latta by beneficial planets are also quite problematic this is primarily a concept of muhurta it is used in sarvabhadra as well and i use it in natal chart also there is one sage named in the 18 <clears throat> named in the 18 reformers of astrology it in reformers and astrology the list is quite new and is not widely supported by all but still so there is one rishi <clears throat> mentioned in the 18 reformers of astrology whose book or text is not available but one rare text from that says is in my possession and there i have found the mention of latta and a hint that latta should also be used in natal charts i have done some researches on it and this is what i am going to share in this video so first of all let's understand the latta right every planet have a kick this kick is from the nakshatra occupied by the planet to the next nakshatra or the previous nakshatra the calculation is either direct or reverse simply put sun kicks the 12th nakshatra in forward direction mars kicks the 3rd nakshatra in forward direction jupiter kicks the 6th <coughs> nakshatra in forward direction and saturn kicks the 8th nakshatra in forward direction this forward counting should be ashwini barani kritaka rohini mrigashira etc on the other hand mercury kicks the 7th nakshatra in backward direction venus kicks the 5th nakshatra in backward direction rahu and ketu kicks the 9th nakshatra in backward direction and moon kicks the 22nd nakshatra in backward direction backward direction is kritaka barani ashwini revati this calculation direct or reverse calculation in softwares like jagannath hora this latta is already calculated so you can just right click and you can see nakshatra aspect and latta you will see a list planet sun latta on anuradha occupied star adra now you see sun is giving latta on anuradha moon on kritika mars on rohini mercury in ashwini jupiter in shlesha venus in bhumi saturn in mrigashira rahu in purvashada right now basically saying if the moon comes into any of these nakshatra anuradha rohini ashwini asresha bharni magha or purvashada which is being kicked by any other planet it will constitute an inauspicious mahurta that is one thing this is for mahurta only in sarvato bhadra also it is used that if a planet is transiting through a nakshatra which is getting latta from a planet then because latta means disgrace the native in the transit when the planet is getting latta from some other planet is going to suffer the problem related to the planet now latta of planet over planet for example right now you see mars is situated mars is giving latta on rohini and jupiter is in rohini right so basically mars is giving latta to jupiter now mars indicates fights aggression mass destruction fire accidents etc and jupiter indicate people learned men brahmins so people learned men brahmins will get problem from the significations of mars right now right is what is indicated this is same for everyone in your horoscope mars will have signification of some houses mars will be situated in some houses jupiter will have signification of some houses jupiter will be situated in some houses and for you these significations will also come into play that will be the personalized result for example say mars is the lord of 10th house in a horoscope and jupiter is lord of you say 9th it is cancer as 
So Jupiter is Lord of ninth house and Mars is Lord of tenth house and Mars is giving Lakta to Jupiter. Mars is kicking Jupiter, disgracing Jupiter, disrespecting Jupiter, causing trouble to Jupiter. And for a Cancer ascendant native, because Mars is tenth Lord and Jupiter is ninth Lord, because of profession, the person person can ignore or disgrace the father. Or because of the profession of father, professional activities of father, disgrace, etc., disgrace, fight, litigation, the bad significations of Mars can come to father. Because ninth house is father, tenth house is profession. So because of your profession, these issues can come to the father. Or because of father's profession, the issue can come to the father. And this is personal transit interpretation based on the horoscope. Before this, Mars causing problem to Jupiter, Jupiter indicating Brahmin's learned man is a general interpretation that is happening for everyone. So according to my, this is research number one, this is the first point that I am putting out. That as per the signification of planets based on the house lordship and placement of the planet in your horoscope, the result of Lakta should also be right. Right. If you go to the Sarvato Badra Chakra section in the Jagannath Hora, you click on Jupiter, you put highlight Vedas aspects and Laktas on the star. If any, you see Mars is highlighted in red, means to say Mars is putting Lakta on Jupiter. So either you can go this way or you can go the way I recommended by the table in the home screen. Either ways, it is okay. Right? You see in this list, only when you click on Jupiter, Mars is highlighted by red. Right? So in Jagannath Hora, in Sarvato Badra Chakra, any planet which is highlighted by red is apparently having Lakta on the star. So Mars from Bharani is putting Lakta on the star Rohini. Why so? Because Mars fixed third nakshatra in forward direction. So Mars is in Bharani, Bharani 1, Kirtaka 2, Rohini 3. So Mars is putting Lakta on the third nakshatra. In transit, <clears throat> Moon is in the Nishtha right now. Moon will go to Ashwini, he will come under Lakta of Mercury. So moon in Ashwini right now, in next few days, is not going to be a good murta for anything because moon is getting Lakta from Mercury. Right? Moon will come to Kritika, moon will go to Kritika, so Lakta from moon will not be there. Moon will go to Rohini, there will be Lakta from Mars. So in coming one, one and a half week, when moon is going into Ashwini or Rohini, because in Ashwini he will get Lakta from Mercury and Rohini, he will get Lakta from Mars. It will not be a good murta. For personal transit, how to interpret it, I already told you. Right. This is first thing. The basic initial research that I wanted to share. Now, apart from this, going further from this. You see, the Lakta should also be used in the birth chart, is what I am telling you basically. What I have done just now is personalize the transit as per the birth chart. This is not, but this is not properly using the Lakta in the birth chart. Right. In the natal chart, there can be a condition that at birth time, a planet can be giving Lakta to another planet. Right. And if this happens in horoscope, this is something very significant. And I believe that this should not be ignored at all. So I will reiterate the basic once again. Latta is always bad because Latta means kicking and kicking is always disrespectful, disgraceful, troubling. Whether you take it as Tang Arana, the Latta giver planet is putting obstruction to the planet who is getting the Latta or is disrespecting the planet who is getting the Latta. Either way, it is problematic. One point. Latta by Malefic is very problematic. Lakta by benefit is not that problematic, but apparently both. In natal chart, <clears throat> what I have found out is that if a planet is getting Lakta from some other planet, you mix the signification of both the planets. For example, you say seventh lord is getting Lakta from ninth lord. Now seventh, this is happening in the horoscope of Dina. This is happening in the horoscope of Princess Diana that seventh lord is getting Lakta by 
Diana, Princess of Wales, Scorpio Ascendant, I take for her. You go to Nakshatra aspect and look at that table, what you see is that Venus is in Kritika and Moon is giving Latta to Kritika. So Moon is ninth Lord and Moon is giving Latta to Venus. Venus is seventh Lord and seventh house itself. Now this <coughs> forms a negative connection. Right? This forms a negative connection. Now you take the signification of planet. Venus is the significator of relationships also and here is seventh Lord as well. And is being disrespected by Moon, the ninth Lord. So in the life of Dinah, what happened that both Dinah and her husband were into extramarital affair. None of them were respecting the boundaries, dharma of relationship, marriage. Right? Simply put, two planets giving latta to each other form a negative connection to each other. The planet who is getting latta in the things signified by the planet manifestation of bad significations of that planet will happen who is giving latta to the planet right so venus is getting latta of moon so in the matters of venus marriage bad result of moon and moon here is the ninth lord so bad result of not following the dharma of marriage is happening right this is how we can we should simply put it another thing is ninth house also indicates religion by venus Getting Latta from Moon, Princess Diana was also in relationship with people, two people, not from her religion, from some other religion as well. Right? This is also happening as Latta because going in relationship with someone not from your religion is a non-dharmic activity, if I put it very simply. Right? So these are two important things. Now, apart from that, you see, this also works as a normal signification. So Venus is getting Latta from Moon. Now, because of marriage, you see, Moon indicates mind. Many people have also claimed after studying the behavior of Princess Diana that she may be having some mental disorders kind of setup. And because of marriage, she also developed many type of mental problems, feeling of loneliness, trying to kill herself and these things were very common, well reported. So regarding natural significations, because moon is giving a latta to Venus because of the mentality mind, problems in marriage relationship will happen right? because moon is giving a latta to Venus. So mixing of natural significations should also be done. But here is a good point. You see, Venus is also the 12th house lot. Lord of a bad house. And generally when Lord of a bad house is getting Latta, the result of the bad house does not happen. So it is actually positive. Lord of a bad house, 36th, 8th, 12th house, Lord getting Latta. I have said beneficial for the native. If not beneficial, it does not indicate a very major significant result. For example, Ninth Lord giving Latta to 12th Lord should cause great losses because of father fortune government, which apparently did not happen. Right. So Latta over the 3rd, 6th, 8th, 12th Lord does not have much implication. If I cannot say that it is positive for the native, then I will say it is neither negative for the native. It is okay. Right. But Latta over a good house Lord is not acceptable at all, which have to be very clearly understood. A better example for the horoscope of Princess Diana, the Latta over the 12th Lord was not very significant. A significant chart in this case is of George Harrison of the Beatles. In the horoscope of George Harrison of the Beatles, if you can see, you see, Mars is giving Latta to Mercury. Right, Mars is giving Latta to Shravan, Mercury is in Shravan. And apart from that, Venus is also giving Latta to Mercury. Right, Venus is giving Latta to Shravan, Mercury is al already in Shravan. So Mercury is getting a lot of Latta, two Lattas. Now here Mercury is the 12th Lord, getting Latta by both Venus and Mars. And Venus being a friendly planet for Mercury, 
Because of this latta over the twelfth house, George Harrison became very much interested in Hinduism, a foreign religion for him. And you can say he was an ardent follower of Hinduism. He had connection with many great Hindu spiritualists as well, and he almost adopted Hinduism, though not officially changing Hinduism as the religion. It's suspicious of this particular point, but he adopted Hinduism a lot. He adopted Hinduism greatly. This is one thing. Apart from that, his contacts with foreigner people, Pandit Ravi Shankar, Maharshi Mahesh Yogi, and others, have also contributed significant spirituality to his life as well. All the traits of twelfth house, you see. So when the bad house lord, I told you, bad house lord, third, sixth, eighth, twelfth lord, getting lakta is not problematic for the native much. Right? It is non-significant for the native. Does not create a problem. if it does not get a good result and in case in that case where the latta giver planet is friendly to the third sixth eighth twelfth house lord in that case generally because of latta good result happens to the native so the good result may not be dharmically correct following another dharma is not direct that not correct be it hinduism or any other dharma for that matter right so may not be dharmically correct but the result is good for the native as it was good for george harrison right the time is a little rough but does not make a difference in the latta part at all but now one more thing you have to understand that this is latta over ninth lord also no because of latta over the ninth lord mercury now you see you see the horoscope of princess diana you see the horoscope otherwise right if you leave the latta aside the importance of latta is as such that if you leave the latta aside venus is seventh lord in seventh house and seventh house is only influenced by jupiter that is a beneficial planet here it is the lord of the uh, second house and fifth house all good so seventh lord in seventh house beneficial planet influencing the seventh house simply you see the horoscope you will not be able to say that she had a very bad marital life which she actually had right which she actually had so without looking at latta a proper analysis of horoscope is near impossible now but you have to see a point that this is seventh lord and seventh house in the horoscope of george harrison Ninth house is having Jupiter, and ninth house having Jupiter is a very good setup. Makes the person very fortunate. Because of this particular reason, though the ninth Mercury is getting lakta from two planets, and these two planets are get, getting lakta from two planets, and Mercury is also ninth lord. But it is not making George Harrison unfortunate as such. this is also coming from the fact as i previously told you that latta is a type of connection between two planets and the latta of venus lagna lord over mercury ninth lord actually makes him fortunate only right so unfortunate it is not making him unfortunate at all but you have to understand the point that venus is giving latta to mercury by being situated in the 6th house and only because of this he had first of all throat cancer secondarily mercury getting connected to moon sorry mercury getting connected to mars and anyhow getting connected to 12th house in my experience according to my understanding is a very bad combination for smoking and this throat cancer according to himself he got because of extensive smoking that he was doing emphasizing the basic point that i am trying to make that lakta is a type of special connection right and a tip i have given you right here that mercury mars or mercury with a fiery planet also connected to the 12th house gives a very heavy smoking to the native right to the to the owner of the horoscope now when he was recovering at his home he was assaulted by some paranoid schizophrenic person where in that attack he was stabbed on his chest though he was recovered from the injury but later he died as well understand it from this particular fact that mars is marak and this marak mars second house lord seventh house lord is giving latta to mercury 
inducing the marak result for george harrison because of mercury one thing was extensive smoking throat cancer and secondly being attacked by a paranoid schizophrenic paranoid schizophrenic such mental bad mental traits are indicated by mercury only because mercury indicates intelligence and mental state another example is a horoscope of jiani versace in the horoscope of jiani versace sun is giving lakta to revati sorry moon is giving lakta to rohini and rahu is situated in rohini right so moon is giving lakta to rahu now rahu does not lord a house but here rahu is situated in 7th house so 7th house results are influenced by moon and this moon is 9th house lord here because of this influence of moon over rahu you see moon rahu connection gives us some kind of unusual result or not accepted by the traditions and customs right moon indicates what the people or the society generally likes in the first go rahu indicates things which the society will not like in the first go very easy so because of moon the ninth lord giving lakta to rahu situated in the seventh house jani versace was in gay relationship one point secondarily because it involves the seventh house the marak house that previously in the horoscope of jimmy hendrix also seventh house sorry george harrison also seventh house was involved here the involvement of the seventh house having a malefic planet like rahu getting lakta by moon jiani versace was shot by someone because of he died so what is the role of moon here moon does not indicate shooting people accuse that the shooter of jani versace andrew andrew some something something was his name have already met jani versace before and they both were into sex for hire services they had a relationship a kind of friendship from some time and one day because of one reason or the other andrew murdered jani versace and he also committed suicide so the reason could not be known but the point of moon giving lakta to rahu causing the violent death somewhere indicates the emotional attachment between the killer and the killed in the horoscope right in any case if the lakta is not between two friendly planets then it is going to be problematic in the horoscope of lionel messi mercury is giving vedha to ashwini jupiter is situated in ashwini jupiter is the third and the 12th house lord and mercury is 6th house and 9th house lord this jupiter is giving lakta to adra and adra is the ascendant now to ascendant you say from murta perspective moon getting lakta from a malefic planet is very bad moon getting lakta from a benefic planet is also bad but apart from that in horoscope lakta is a type of connection and if ascendant is getting lakta by a beneficial planet then it is a good type of connection and because of jupiter the third lord giving lakta to ascendant forming a connection with ascendant third house indicating sportsmanship sports makes messi a great sports person the bad result of third lord and 12th lord third house indicating courage 12th house indicating expenditure investment getting lakta by mercury the 6th lord and 9th lord produces a result of tax evasion right lionel messi was involved in a tax evasion in a tax fraud i think he was fined something for it also and lionel messi said that i am a footballer i was just signing contracts and told my father see the father ninth lord who have done all of this whatever happened with money i gave all to my father and he did whatever he did right so 12th house of investment third house of courage the lord of these two houses getting 
letak by mercury the sixth lord and the ninth lord 9000 indicating father and they not being friend right jupiter and mercury not being friends with each other induce the result of getting into a tax fraud financial fraud civil fraud because of father right one more horoscope i will want to use of george is george michael this guy you see in this horoscope venus is in revati and is giving latta to Ju venus is giving latta to revati and jupiter is situated in revati now you see this jupiter is the seventh lord tenth lord situated in 10th house getting latta by venus who is significator of sexuality and is lord of 12th house and is lord of 5th house now because 10th lord and 7th lord is getting latta from a planet who is not his friend there will be problems in sexuality of the person he was heterosexual he had a 10 year gay relationship right because it is a veda over 10th lord there there is going to be defamation there is going to be loss of name fame prestige though michael george was i think a magician but he was arrested multiple times once for lewd conduct sexually touching lewd conduct is sexually touching yourself or others to either create offense or for sexual gratification right two three times he was arrested for having class c drugs with him and he was also sentenced to jail and fined because of driving under the influence of drugs this gives him great loss of owner defamation loss of prestige why because jupiter is influenced by venus who is not friends to jupiter so bad result is going to happen to jupiter now venus being the 12th lord the signification is that this is happening in foreign land when he was jailed for driving under the influence of drugs this happened in a foreign land right now apparently if you see the horoscope otherwise only saturn is influencing the 10th house but apart from that 10th lord is there in 10th house and it is a very good setup jupiter in the 10th house is a very good setup 10th lord in 10th house should make the native very prestigious a person of good ethics and morals which does not hold true for michael george who is booked for lewd con lewd, lewd conduct lewd conduct I, I i am not sure how it is pronounced right and also he was jailed multiple times which is apparently not a result of 10th lord and 10th house right why this result is happening in horoscope because of venus giving latta to jupiter the same point that i highlighted in the horoscope of diana as well that if you don't take latta into account a proper analysis of the horoscope of the native you will not be able to make i will give you a contrasting example of lord louis mountbatten See Mount Mountbatten, the one who divided India Pakistan. The Indians know him very well. Sun is giving latta to Jupiter, friendly latta. Right? Venus is giving latta to Mars, neutral to bad latta, you can say. Now, Sun in Anuradha giving latta to Jupiter in Anuradha is second lord giving latta to sixth lord and ninth. So, second friendly latta of second lord, home house. To ninth ninth Lord royalty, right? Because of this particular reason, Lord Louis Mountbatten was a distant relative of English royalty, and because it is a friendly latta between Jupiter, indicating ministership, and Sun indicating kingship, he held very high positions in life. He was high born, and till date, he is the longest serving professional head of. British armed forces, right? Second thing is the latta of Venus over Mars. Mars is not Kritika, Venus is giving latta to Kritika. Now, Venus and Mars, the connection between Venus and Mars, if you have seen my earlier videos, if you have read even a little bit of classical astrology, you will know that it is a combination for sexual perversion. He himself have made a comment that he and his wife have spent all their marital lives getting into the beds of other people. And both 
Lord Louis Mountbatten and his wife were highly immoral and character wise very pathetic person. The daughter of uh, Lord Louis Mountbatten is the lady that you see with Jawaharlal Nehru in the popular photos. The young lady with Jawaharlal Nehru is the daughter of Lord Louis Mountbatten, by the way. Right. So, once again, the same point that a lata between two planets is a type of connection between two planets. The perversion of Jupiter, uh, the perversion of Venus giving lata to Mars is also evident in his life. In another way, he was a homosexual. Lord Louis Mountbatten was homosexual. Lord Louis Mountbatten was a pedophile. And he was perverted for young boys. He used to molest and rape young boys as well. Right? Basic point that I am highlighting is that a latta between two planets is a type of unknown, unseen influence in horoscope. Which gives result very prominently and have great powers to mold and change what is otherwise visible in the horoscope. If the latta is between two friendly planets, it is a good latta. Promotes the significations of each other. Latta between two inimical planets is a prop in horoscope reading. Latta between two inimical planets towards each other is very problematic. Should be taken as a negative connection between two planets. In this for proper analysis, not only the significations of the planets, but the house lordship of the planet should also be included as I have told in the first two examples. Now, you see the time is limited. Right, the time that I can give to making YouTube videos limited. So every example that I take, I want, I want to utilize it to maximum to show one particular aspect of the thing that I wanted to explain only, right? So in the horoscope of Princess Dinah and in the second horoscope of George Harrison and the third horoscope of Lionel Messi, I have explained how the Veda works with respect to house lordship. Right? In the horoscope of Lord Louis Mountbatten and in the, in the horoscope of Lord Louis Mountbatten, my example was Veda to Veda working and house to house working. Uh, sorry, uh, Latta based on signification to signification worship and Signification to signification relationship and house lordship to house lordship relationship. I explained using both. In the horoscope of Michael George, at one place I have taken the house lordship of the planet who is getting the Latta, and at another place I have taken the natural signification of planet who is giving the Latta. All three types signification ship to signification ship, house lordship to house lordship, house lordship to signification ship, all three of them are used in our horoscope analysis. So all three of them should also be used in Latta. I have also highlighted a point that if a lord of bad house is getting Latta from a friendly planet, it produces ex it produces extremely good result, though it not be socially acceptable to the society. That's the basic point. And above this, from my experience, because I use Latta a lot in my consultations, I will also give you one point from my experience, though I will not take the horoscope of a client to explain it. But you see, Venus is giving Latta to Jupiter. So Venus is disrespecting Jupiter. This Jupiter is certainly bad and this is an inimical, inimical Latta, Latta between two inimical planets. So Jupiter is suffering. Now if you do the remedy of Jupiter, because Venus is giving Latta to Jupiter, Venus will start becoming spoiled. Venus will start showing bad results. So you have to do remedy for both Venus and Jupiter in equal quantity. To make sure that while you remedy the Jupiter, you don't fast face the bad result of Jupiter. You do not face the bad result of Venus. Venus does not get damaged. Right. So one point that one more point that I am adding from my side is that when you remedy the Veda taker planet, the Veda giver planet gets angry. So when you do remedy, you do remedy for both Veda uh, Latta taker and Latta giver properly. Right. So in this video, I have talked all about Lattas. Right. Maybe I have used the Veda word one, two times, but replace it with Latta. Right. Veda is one more topic that is just running in my mind, but I will make another video for it, not included in this video to save the complexity of the topic. I hope the point is extremely clear. You will use it in your consultations, in your predictions, in your analysis of horoscope, and it will improve your horoscope analysis to a better level.
थैंक यू